Hi there, welcome to the Jay Slater missing person case, looking at some of the latest news and discussions on the matter and other mysteries along the way, such as the items of the key that's gone missing. I've done a video on that, be sure to catch up already, where the ice symbol is. I'll be doing a couple of videos today, so watch out, look out for them, that will be appreciated. But right now we're looking at the mystery of a phone charger, which was supposedly borrowed. Where did that phone charger end up? Did it lead to his disappearance? Was it a component within the timeline? We'll find out right now with this new article. This time around the article is Express. Title is Jay Slater Search, new mysterious friend says missing Brit borrowed a phone charger. So this friend has only now decided to talk about this phone charger being borrowed. If it's not that, you know, significant, why is it being mentioned right now? Why isn't it just thrown out at the beginning? Um, there was a few people recently where there was adding in by saying, you know, friends are Jay or others not directly tied in the case, but are making themselves a part of it. Is it for clout? Is it for behavior? Is it me, me, me or so? Get the 15 minutes of fame. Not too sure. But let's just see what the details here at least, how it's been worded. The hunt for... Why does it keep saying the hunt for missing Jay Slater? The more I read the hunt, it makes Jay Slater sound like a, a criminal convict on the run. And I know some people could probably agree with that, but you get what I'm saying. You know, the whole situation with Jay Slater, like the news outlets or certain ones do, and those like families and uh, friends and supporters in general want to portray Jay Slater as a 100% innocent, pure individual. Yet how it's worded here, they're saying the hunt for Jay, sounding like people are after him. <laughs> so, not searching, but hunting. It's weird. Okay. This is by Alice uh, Scarcy, uh, World News reporter. Jay Slater, Mark William Thomas shares up, down, search. Asked if he could borrow... Oh, so Jay was asked if he could borrow a phone charger after arriving at the Airbnb with the two British men in the early hours of June 17th. It's been claimed. Claimed, not 100% proven. Well, that's a great start. From a British detective, Mark William Thomas said to have spoken to one of the men who spent a few hours with the 19-year-old before his mysterious disappearance. Ayub, once again, Ayub Krasim... One of the two Brits who rented the holiday let Casa Abuela, Tino Northwest Tenerife, provided his account of the night to the TV detective, claiming he offered Jay a sofa to sleep on and a towel if he wanted to shower after their arrival to the house. In a video shared on Twitter on Sunday, Mark Williams reporting Mr. Krasim's words in quotes, Jay asked for a cigarette and Ayub, Ayub, <laughs> Ayub, Ayub said, I've got some camel... Okay, camel ones and put them on one side. Jay then asks for a phone charger and he says, go into my friend's room. He is asleep. Take his charger and you can put your phone on charge. Now, you know, give him permission to go in the friend's room, but into my friend's room. So Ayub's, Ayub, his friend. So if Jay went into that room to borrow, use the phone charger, is there a small chance that Jay saw any of the items in that room and took it as an opportunity upon himself to steal, such as a Rolex watch? Not guaranteed, but just as a suggestion based off how it's worded here, right? And if he did steal anything else or take anything he wasn't supposed to, despite being given permission to go in that room in the first place for the phone charger, things could have transpired from there after. And that's what led to him feeling uncomfortable, unsafe in the presence, because he know what he's done is bad. And being around those guys that have supposedly kindly accepted him into this place of living as a form of sanctuary or safety temporarily, um, double-crossing them, mm, could backfire badly. What else? TV detective added, in quotes, there was no charging point by the sofa. It is not known whether Jay did use the phone charger or whether it worked at all. Are you saying that there's no charging point at all within the building? Well, there must be, because there's no point having a phone charger in the first place. Uh, on his last phone call to his friend Lucy on June 17th, the teenager said he was attempting to walk back from Masca area to Los Cristianos, where he was staying, and that his phone was on 1% battery. We've heard about that already, where he was dehydrated, he was scared, couldn't return back to the B&B. Lucy herself recalled this detail in an interview she gave hours after Jay's disappearance. She said, in quotes, he rang me at about 8 o'clock morning saying his phone was on 1%. He said, I don't know where I am. I need a drink and my phone is about to die. Mm. Is that Mark Williams guy? Um, I guess we'll just that relevance if needed for later. The young woman who had travelled to Tenerife with Jay and another friend called Brad to attend a music festival managed to locate the Airbnb on the same day Jay 
vanished and spoke to one of the two Brits who was renting it. Jay's phone last pinged at around 8.50am after he managed to send his location recorded in a remote rural Detano Park. So the only thing you could say that was smart of Jay, despite being in a compromising situation by himself, lost and scared, he still took it upon himself, even with 1% battery, to share the location somehow because not everybody can do that in the moment especially when they've got limited time so that's the one smart thing that jay did do and by showing the location implies that he wanted to be found i'm just using some common sense there but the whole situation about the phone charger why should it matter that much an extra detail in the timeline from what i read in that article could somehow indirectly apply to one of the theories provided by a commenter on my channel recently uh, I can't remember their name, but the other blue, blue profile, like blue profile pic about how whilst Jay was at that Airbnb with those other guys, strangers to him really, took it upon himself to seek an opportunity in taking something, such as a Rolex watch, and it just so happened that he had access and permission to go into the other friend's room, not his friend, but Ayub's friend, whilst the person was asleep... So completely out of it, unaware of what Jay was doing inside of that room, Jay could have got the charger, but did anything else catch his attention, catch his eye? And he thought, hmm, I might take that now or later when he had the chance. You know, you could understand how one thing could link with another and at a certain point in time. If anything was stolen from that Airbnb, and that's one of the reasons why Jay had a bit of urgency to leave and didn't want to leave or be driven back by those guys back to where he needed to be, because along the drive, they could figure out or find out, oh, you stole my watch, why have you got it? And then do something to him. So it's best he leaves by his own accord, by himself, so there's less trouble, less danger. But in the process of getting away, and a bit of poor decision-making, possibly, because of what he may have done, and scared that they may find out and trace him down, he's got to move quick, on the go, can't stop too long, got to keep moving, and may even go off the beaten track to throw the people off, which could compromise himself and put him in danger. Um, that's just a possibility, that's all I'm saying. But, you know, if the individuals in the background that were robbed from, let's just put it that way, surely they would have come out now and said that to defend themselves, to make themselves look more innocent, and to portray Jay in a darker picture. If they were robbed, they should have said, oh yeah, my phone was taken. At least from how we've heard it worded in previous articles where the watch was supposedly stolen, or at least a watch was stolen, was actually at that beach resort, which is nowhere near that Airbnb. So these are just theories and ideas, that's all. But trying to work out in what order and how things followed, if Jay has access to a person's room and is able to use the charger, but if there's anything else on display, he may have taken it upon himself to take something. You never know. There's always that possibility. Because to say that he was scared and he couldn't return back to that Airbnb, there must have been a reason as to why he couldn't return back because there were people there who he felt threatened by or he did something wrong and he felt that if he went back, those guys would take it out on him. You know, it might not just be stealing. It could be other stuff. I know some people in the background said about a drug deal gone wrong or losing drugs and people being angry with him. I don't know too much about that. I'll be honest with you, but I just wanted to throw it out there as just a sub factor within the theory. So be sure to let me know what you think exactly behind the phone charger. Is it significant? Is it meaningless information? Are people just coming out with this additional stuff now because they want the 15 minutes of fame or not? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Be on the lookout for other videos. Feel free to catch up on previous ones where the eye symbol is. And yeah, goodbye for now.